Barb from MissMetabolism.com. Today I'm going to address a common myth I hear all the time, and that is that nuts are a great source of protein. Well, sorry to say, that is not that true. So all I did was took my little calculator and did some simple calculations using the nutrition facts to calculate percent calories from protein. And what did I find? Well, for example, peanuts, only 17.5% protein. Peanut butter, one of my favorites, 15% protein. Almonds, 14%. Cashews, 12 And poor little walnuts, only 9% protein. So that's actually not that much. Such little protein coming from these, where are the rest of the calories coming from? If you look at the nutrition facts, you'll see it's mostly fat. All right, so these range from 75 up to 90% calories from fat. Good sources of healthy fat, good for heart health, and great for satiety, feeling full and satisfied from your food. But other than that, they contribute just small amounts of protein to our diet. So for comparison, let's take a look at some other food products that also contribute small amounts of protein, but in some cases might actually contribute more without us even really knowing it. All right, so I brought out some other food products here. Let's take a look and compare them to the nuts. Remember, the nuts had protein ranging from 9% to 17.5%. So here are a couple things to compare to. First, a couple whole grains like oatmeal and shredded wheat. Um, oatmeal's got 13%, shredded wheat has 14 It's in that same range as the nuts. Now here are a couple other things you don't really think about. Vegetables like canned pumpkin or spinach, oh, their protein is pretty much the same or higher. Pumpkin's at 16%. This spinach is at 27% protein. And another one is whole grain bread. It's got to be the whole grain though to have that little bit extra protein. In this case, this whole wheat bread has 20% protein. That beats out all the nuts. And then our last one example here is black beans or any sort of legume, any sort of beans. It's going to be uh, decent in protein. This has 25% protein. So you can see all these foods that you don't really consider high protein sources. Well, maybe they're not high, but they're at least better than those nuts. So for now, we learned about what foods will contribute some protein in our diet, but not a whole lot. Next time, follow me to learn what foods are really the top protein sources in our diet, and I'll show you more examples from my own kitchen. So until next time, keep that metabolism up.